Hey all dear sons, this is Prajesh Chaudhary, your quantum guru. In this video, I'll talk about plane polar coordinate system. Normally, when we study planar kinematics of particle, we employ Cartesian coordinate system. But when we have to study circular motion or angular motion, it is better to employ plane polar coordinate system. So what is a plane polar coordinate system? In general, any coordinate system is a means to locate a particle in space and here in a plane. So using plane polar coordinate system, my immediate tool is a reference line and this is the starting off point of the reference line. If I want to locate all particles in this plane which are at a certain distance, at a fixed distance from the starting point R, so there would be such infinite particles lying on the circle centered at the starting point. And similarly, if I want to locate all particles which are at a certain angular position from this reference line on this line so again there would be infinite particles so there can be way to locate a particle by uh, specifying both are the distance from the starting point and the angular position so giving these two information we can uniquely locate a particle in the plane of reference line so this is the reference line and r is the distance of the point from this reference line and the theta is the angular position and we take the anti-clockwise direction as the positive sense of angular position so this is how we locate a particle using plane polar coordinate system so what is the correspondence between plane polar coordinate system and the cartesian coordinate system so these are the x and y axis for the cartesian coordinate system x axis the reference line for the plane polar coordinate system and the origin is the starting point and uh, positive sense of angle is the anti-clockwise direction and here is a particle here is the particle p and using plane polar coordinate system its uh, coordinates r comma theta and using cartesian coordinate would be x comma y so first with Cartesian this x and y so this is a x that is a distance from the y axis and the y is the distance from the x axis and r comma theta r is the distance from the origin and theta is the angular position so uh, the connection between r theta and x and y so you can see that this is x this is r and this is theta so x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta and uh, obviously this x y x square plus y square is equal to r square pythagoras theorem and tan theta is equal to y by x so theta is equal to tan inverse of y by x and now unit vectors in plane polar coordinate system and their relationship with the unit vectors in the cartesian coordinate system if we take any coordinate system we have to take some basis vector basis vector are the independent vectors with the combination of them we can span any vector in that space on that plane so in the cartesian coordinate system in general the basis vector are i cap j cap and k cap these are the mutually independent orthogonal set of vectors with this combination we can span any vector in 3d in 2D, the basis vector in the Cartesian system are I cap and J cap. So similarly, in any system, we need to have basis vector. Basis vector would be independent orthogonal vectors. And with their combination, we can span any vector. So in the plane polar coordinate system, the basis vector are R cap and theta cap. This R cap is a unit vector in the increasing direction of R, also known as a radial direction unit vector and the other unit vector should be perpendicular to r cap so that is theta cap and uh, there can be two direction of theta cap if this is r cap so perpendicular to r cap there are this one direction and this one direction so which direction to choose so that direction which is in the increasing direction of theta and what is the increasing direction of theta that is in the anti-clockwise sense so we have two unit vectors r cap unit vectors along radial direction or in the increasing direction of r and theta cap is a unit vector perpendicular to r cap and in the increasing direction of theta 
and one more thing that unlike i cap and j cap these are not constant vector and the particle is here i cap is along this direction of particle is here i cap is along this direction this particle is here i cap is along this direction everywhere you can go i cap would be parallel to x axis and same thing for the y j cap that will everywhere that would be parallel to uh, y axis but not so for the r cap and theta cap if i am here the r cap is along this direction if i am here r cap would be in the radial away direction like this if i am here r cap would be here and similarly for theta cap at different positions a vector is constant if both its magnitude and direction are constant but in case of r cap and theta cap obviously they are unit vectors so magnitude would be one but their directions at different point may be different so in general r cap and theta cap are not constant vectors so they will have some their derivatives so first of all now we will connect r cap and theta cap in terms of i cap and j cap and then we'll find their derivatives so here this is r cap at this position in the increasing direction of r obviously it is a unit vector so magnitude is one this angle is theta so will be this angle make a component of this r cap parallel to x axis and y axis so the components would be a uh, one cos theta and one sin theta so this r cap can be written as a cos theta i cap plus sin theta j cap and here this is a theta cap at this position this is the direction of r cap perpendicular to r cap this is theta cap in the increasing direction of theta it's a unit vector so magnitude is one and this theta so this angle would be theta and this angle would also be theta again make a component of theta cap parallel to x axis and y axis this component would be one sin theta and this component would be one cos theta so theta cap can be written as a minus sin theta i cap plus cos theta j cap and now their derivatives so we have got r cap and theta cap just before and derivative of r cap with respect to time is d by dt r cap is this cos theta i cap plus sin theta j cap so apply chain rule first differentiate with respect to theta and multiply d theta by dt so we'll get minus sin theta i cap plus cos theta j cap into d theta by dt and see what is this thing this is nothing but theta cap and this is a rate of change of angular position with respect to time that is what known as a angular velocity so dr cap by dt is equal to uh, omega theta cap and similarly d theta cap by dt is a minus uh, sin theta i cap plus cos theta j cap's derivative so that would be minus cos theta i cap plus sin theta j cap bracket outside bracket there is minus and into d theta by dt see this is r cap and this is omega so that is a minus omega r cap so overall we got dr cap by dt is omega theta cap d theta cap by dt is minus omega r cap so one important thing is that though r cap and theta cap are mutually independent because they are perpendicular to each other but their derivatives are connected to them the derivative of r cap dr cap by dt so its derivative is in this direction and its derivative is in this direction that is a very important thing now the velocity acceleration position vector using plane polar coordinate systems so this is a particle moving along this path and we are using this coordinate system this is my reference line at a certain position particle is here its position vector is r vector obviously position vector of a point is the displacement from the initial point to that point so you can see that this r vector has a magnitude r and it is in the direction of r cap so i can simply write r vector is equal to r r cap right and now the velocity vector in plane polar coordinate system so we'll use this thing and we just written 
r vector is equal to r r cap here this r and r cap both are variable velocity is nothing but the rate of change of angular position with respect to time so differentiate this with respect to time so this is a dr by dt so that is a d by dt of r r cap so that is a dr by dt into r cap plus r into dr cap by dt so using shorthand notation uh, we write the time derivative anything with dot if i have right if i have to write dy by dt i will write y dot if i have to write d2y by dt square i will write y double dot so here this dr by dt i will simply write r dot so that is r dot r cap plus r omega theta cap so simplify it here so v vector is equal to r cap r r dot r cap plus r omega theta cap now here in this diagram along this path particle is moving this is our reference line and uh, at this position this is the velocity velocity is always tangential to the path so this is along the path tangential so we can make a component of v vector velocity vector along r cap and theta cap so component of this velocity along r cap is let me write this vr and the component along theta cap is v theta so here this is the vr part and this is the v theta part so vr part is the rate of change of the distance with respect to origin also known as the velocity of separation and that is responsible for the changing separation and this part is the responsible for making the angular motion the changing the angle theta in the circular motion when we take origin uh, as the center of the circle then this part becomes the tangential velocity and that is the only velocity there and now acceleration in plane polar coordinate system acceleration is the rate of change of velocity with respect to time so this is the velocity is here so if i differentiate this velocity with respect to time we'll get the acceleration so differentiate it with respect to time a vector dv by dt so a vector is this and here this r cap r dot r omega theta cap all are variable so differentiate this first of all this is a sum and difference rule so first part that will be d r cap by dt r cap plus r cap d r cap by dt plus for this part again chain rule for the three terms uh, at a time we'll differentiate one and keep other two as a fix so d r by dt r into omega theta cap plus r d omega by dt theta cap plus r omega d theta cap by dt so write it here r double dot that is r cap and this is a dr cap by dt is omega theta cap dr by dt again r dot d omega by dt is the rate of change of angular position with respect to time that is known as the angular acceleration for that i have written alpha and here d theta cap by dt is minus omega r cap so got all those things just club the r cap terms together and theta cap terms together so the r cap terms are r double dot and from here minus r omega square so r double dot minus r omega square r cap and theta cap term is the r alpha plus 2 r dot omega so this is a overall acceleration in plane polar coordinates so here the particle is again moving along this path so here the acceleration is this acceleration in general may not be along the tangent so the component of this acceleration along theta cap direction is a theta and the component of acceleration along r cap direction is ar so this part is the this is the ar part and this is the a theta part and in the circular motion uh, this r double dot r is constant so r double dot would be zero and this r dot would also be zero so there would be only two parts minus r omega square r cap that's what we call the centripetal acceleration and this r alpha part that's what we call uh, tangential so in the next video we'll 
come up with some application part how we can use this plane polar coordinate system to find velocity acceleration and various related things in a complex situations so thank you for watching stay tuned for the next video